got so much attention from the press and the media and so because that film played in to the polarization of America. Mm -hmm. You see, the bankers want that. They like when the Democrats and Republicans are fighting because mm -hmm. nobody's paying attention to that. They like keeping things focused that way. And so while Michael made a really good film as a filmmaker, I think what he did uh, wasn't really catching the right issues. You understand? And so uh, that's why my film, they're not going to let it on the air. Nobody will interview me. No television station will interview me. Mr. President. They won't let it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was out of your line of sight. What can I do? Um, a little, can you take just a piece of constructive criticism about dealing with the film? You go straight from, you know, you, you, I agree. I've studied this for years and years. And I can't change this film, so I don't want to hear it. No, but <laughs> in, talking, in talking about it, in talking about it. The, it goes straight from the problem of the, federal, of the Federal Reserve, and it has to address what moderate people will perceive it. And it's stealing the money to do good. Liberals look at anything about the federal income tax, and they say, oh, you can't touch that because that's how we do good. That's how we used to help racism. And, it, and somehow in an audience, I mean, people in the movement, we have to tell people that that takes the power, all our power to tax and create good things, they oh, steal it. Shit. They steal our ability to, to by, by the, by the, by, because the money all goes to the Federal Reserve. Nothing good gets happened. Well, it doesn't and, go for infrastructure. It goes for interest, which, doesn't, which shouldn't be there in the first place. Well, it would be our so, money. So what's the constructive criticism? Just to let people know that the li but what, what liberals fear, and you read the reviews of it, they fear that if you interfere with the in income tax in any way, then but nothing's good can get any good. The, what should I do with the film that could change that? No, you can't. I don't mean that, but I'm just saying, saying we can, we can <laughs> in reaching people... <laughs> Next question. Uh, I'm missing I, it. I'm I, missing I, the point. I, okay. What is we, you, what, what's your constructive criticism? That, 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 the, that a democracy, uh, 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 not a democracy, a constructive... We have the ability to do good without giving all our power over to the Federal Reserve. Other people will think, oh, we... Every, they don't. They don't disconnect tax and Federal Reserve. And just like when the Federal Reserve has the, all the money, the businessmen think, "Oh, well, that's the business system. You're messing with the business system." But if the Federal Reserve has these trillions of dollars that they can plug into a state, they had just tires opened up in Illinois a few months ago. Who put a trillion dollars to open a store in every town in every state? There is no free you, enterprise. You're losing, you're losing me. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it interferes with free enterprise and it interferes well, what's the point? with. Missing, what, what is it you want me to do in the film? I'm missing the point. I'm just saying just to, to keep the focus on all the things that the Federal Reserve interrupts. It goes it goes directly to fascism. It stops all our normal processes. To me personally. To me personally? No. I don't think about that. If I did, I couldn't function. Right. Yeah. You understand? I nice. just go forward. I don't go over my shoulder. Anybody trying to kill me or do whatever? I mean, no, Fred I mean, Smart. Fred Smart got some calls from somebody in North Carolina, three calls or something, right, Fred? Yeah. Telling me that I'm a target and I'm this and I'm. You know, you don't pay attention to that. It's connected to some mafia, hooky underworld in the East Coast, and look, uh, three calls after six weeks. Uh, said he was a target, and please watch out for yourself and watch out for Aaron. He needs protection. They wanted Fred to drop out. They didn't want Fred helping. They, they're trying to shut this movie down. They don't want the movie being seen on television. They don't want people talking about it. They want to scare my volunteers away. They'll do anything they can do. Because this is the movie that exposes the truth. It's the only one that's ever been made like this. Right? Yes. You understand? So that's what it's about. They want to scare me. And they're not going to scare me. They may kill me. Look, <laughs> the truth is this. That... All four presidents that were assassinated, McKinley, Garfield, Lincoln, and Kennedy, all four of them were against the Federal Reserve. Now, that could be coincidence, but I doubt it. <laughs> and they were the only four. Yes, in blue. Um, I see what you're talking about, you know, in the future because I don't see this happening tomorrow, so as a student... You don't see what happening tomorrow? I mean, you know, them closing down the Federal Reserve. So I'm wondering, like... Well, wait, this is my first question. Wait, wait, wait. So I'm wondering, like, as a student, because um, I didn't, you know, file my taxes this year, I would say, you know, I didn't make too much and blah, blah, this. Right. But, you know, I can't go to school this year because I don't have the financial aid because I didn't file my taxes. So I'm like, I, didn't, I was going to ask you, like, in a sense, you know, if we were looking for money from the government, what would we do? That was my first question. And then when they, and then we get... Don't look for money from the government. That's the first thing. But I'm just saying that, we'll, I mean, because personally, me, 
I don't have it. And I'd like to pull it out somewhere because I know we're going to need it within the next it. You know, year or so to at least get us to where we need to go. I, I mean, I, I do. I know what you're talking about. But you have to understand where I'm coming from, that within the next year or so, before we can, you know, literally shut everything in out, we're still going to be, you know, getting money to buy our gas, using money to pay our light bill, to go to school, you know, these things. I, 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 your, your thoughts aren't clear to me. Okay. I'm okay, getting, let me understand. I'm not getting the concept behind what you're asking. I'm asking about when you're talking about taxes. Yes. Okay, so, and then you're tying that into shutting down, because I see where the movie is leading up to shutting down Federal Reserve. I saw yes. where you, you know, tied that into. Right. So it's a part of taxes. You know, everybody fills out your taxes, you do this, you do that. But for students, we do it, our motivation for doing it is for that the government to say, oh, thank you for filing your taxes, here's some money, please go to school, blah, blah, this. So as a student who's not filing the... It doesn't, let me, let me help you out. Okay, please. It doesn't matter if the Federal Reserve is in existence or the government's making the money. If the government wants to help you, they can. It's, it's, it's the same money. Okay. So it doesn't, you know, the difference is this. If the Federal Reserve makes the money then we have to pay them interest. And we're in great debt. If the government makes the money, there's no interest to pay. And you're not in debt anymore. Ms. Russo, I believe what she's trying to say, though, is that the structure is set up to, to uh, facilitate that, meaning that as a student, if you want, to, if you want, the, if you want the government to help you, a Pell Grant, for instance, right. you have to show an income tax return. Well, of course. So there's so, no okay. way to get away I, I that. understand that. There's no question. And same thing with having an employer. If you don't want to pay your income taxes, they take it out of the source. Your employer doesn't allow you not to pay it. You understand? So the system is designed I'm not paying it. to help them. There's no question. You know, you want to get a loan to go to college. You know, they want to put you in debt. They want you to file your taxes. So you're part of the system. Right. That's the way, that's how smart they are. Right. That's what they do. I understand that part. Just, you know, what are we doing? <laughs> well, you got, you have, it's called sacrifice. I see. It's called sacrifice. I mean, the truth is that look what the founding fathers did to get away from England controlling them. Yes. Look what we have to do to get away from the Federal Reserve controlling us. I mean, it's just, it's just sacrifice. There's no denying it. That's not easy. But there's no question that the, the Federal Reserve can be shut down in a matter of weeks. Oh, I, I, I believe it. I've been, I'm just glad you came out with this. I've been, you know, what if we don't have money? <laughs> Wouldn't I mean, we all they, be great? Congress has the ability, the legal authority, to shut them down. But then my next question ties into that. Actually, I have two more questions. When you talk about the chips, what about vaccinations? Because I've always, when they first came out with that little implantation for, right. you know, track your kids, right. I was like, what the hell? So they could just track you and they, oh, look, you were there for that murder that night. We tracked you right here. Right. And, you know, I was like, hell no. So then, I mean, what about vaccinations and, you know, implanting people without them knowing? Aren't you afraid of that? And then my third question, before you go off, is, you know, once we do get off and once we do shut the Federal Reserve down, you know, what will happen to the value system? Because I've heard rumors about, you know, about the social, uh, excuse me, about the social security number being backed by human, I mean, the money system being backed by, you know, human bodies, human bodies, mm -hmm. and not actual gold, and that the gold was actually stolen, that there is no more, and that's why they were creating money out of thin air. There is no more. Right, right. so it, once we, box. right, but once we shut down, you know, saying the, uh, the Federal Reserve, yeah. you know, place, what will happen to the value system? How we, you what know, do you mean the value system? Do you mean like the money system? There's no more money, so well, I say. No, 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 somehow I'm not coming across to you. Okay. Yeah. The government, whatever the Federal Reserve does, the government can do. Okay. Without interest. I see. So if you get rid of the Federal Reserve, it doesn't mean there's no money anymore. It just means you're not paying interest on the money anymore. They're creating it. We own the money. How many times have you heard it doesn't matter what the debt is because we owe it to ourselves? People say that all the time, but we don't owe it to ourselves. We owe it to them. You understand? So by getting rid of the Federal Reserve, we're now eliminating all the debt, and we can't take our gold back. Okay. So all those guys should be hung by their feet. <laughs> okay? So what has to happen is we get rid of the Federal Reserve system. It's what, it's what Abraham Lincoln said in the quote in the movie. It's, it's, it's the government's greatest creative opportunity. We no longer have to be slaves to money, but we can embrace it and, and do good for mankind. The problem will be is if the government prints so much money that that is a massive inflation and they destroy the value of the currency. But as long as you have a gold standard behind it, that won't happen. Like between 1800 and 1910, the price of a loaf of bread didn't go up for 100 years because it was all steady. You had a gold back system, whatever money was printed was backed by something real, and there was no inflation. Today, people don't know what their future is going to be.